Seabirds capture our attention with their bright colors and funny looks. I think most of us can say we adore puffins, and let's not forget the crested auklet, who looks like a member of a punk band. But these seabirds aren't always rocking these bold looks. Why is that? Hey everyone, I'm Allie, the Student Conservation Association intern at Alaska Maritime National Wildlife Refuge, and I'm curious to learn more about our natural resources. As the temperatures have been dropping in Alaska, I've been gearing up for winter, adapting, if you will. And what better place to find inspiration for adaptation than wildlife? So I turned to some of the classic seabirds of the refuge. The horned puffins with their brightly colored bills and the horns above their eyes, the tufted puffins with their golden feather tufts, and the crested auklet with their plumes of feathers on top of their heads. And boy, was I in for a surprise. Have you seen these seabirds in the winter? They're different. Their bills are smaller and no longer bright, and their fancy feathers are gone, and what feathers they do have left are much darker. So I got to wondering, why do some of these seabirds stop rocking their looks in the winter? Let's ask a biologist. I am Bree Drummond, wildlife biologist here at the refuge uh, in charge of the Gulf of Alaska and Alaska Peninsula units. Hey Bree, can you tell me why some seabirds go from being bright and beautiful in the summer to more dull in the winter? Well, so some seabirds like puffins or auklets uh, have brightly colored bills and decorative feather plumes in the summer. And these are generally used as visual signaling to attract mates. And so they advertise to other birds that they're healthy and would be a good partner to raise a chick with. Oh, it's sort of like how we use a resume to get the attention of potential employers. We use our resumes to let employers know that we're qualified for a job and would be a good fit for the team. These seabirds are using their brightly colored bills and their decorative feathers to let potential mates know that they're qualified to be a good partner and a good parent. So why do these just disappear in the winter? It seems like a good message to get across all year. These decorations can be energetically costly to produce or maintain. And so at the end of the summer, when the breeding season is over and the birds don't need to be especially attractive to a mate anymore, they lose them uh, for the winter months. When they molt, if they don't then have to produce new decorative feathers, then that's helpful. Um, and then things like, you know, the fancy colorful bills um, that puffins have, um, you know, that is energetically because they're actually, they're making uh, larger bill plates. Uh, and then when those fall off in the fall, uh, their bills are actually quite a bit smaller. Oh, that makes sense. Once breeding season is over, these seabirds don't have to attract a mate until next year. So in the meantime, they can conserve energy for other things like foraging for food. You know, I have found some inspiration in these drab appearances after all. Maybe I've been focusing my attention on things that were important last season, but aren't as important in this current season of my life. It's time to refocus my energy on the top priorities for my winter season. The first one being staying warm. Thanks for watching everyone. If you have a pressing question for a refuge biologist, comment on this post and maybe we'll answer your question in an upcoming video. See you soon.